Mark Zaki Wania. Since Kenya, Kenya recorded its first, first case of COVID-19 on the 12th of March 2020. Ni katika hotuba ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta katika ikulu ya Nairobi. Today in keeping with the recommendations of the National Emergency Response Committee on coronavirus issue the first coronavirus public order of 2021 as follows. Rais Uhuru akitangaza taratibu mpya za kudhibiti msambao wa virusi vya corona. Rais akisema waliafikia taratibu hizo kunusuru uhai wa raia badala ya uchumi. Our policy decisions have been guided by science, data and evidence. We will continue to be guided by the scientific evidence. Empirical evidence over the last one year shows us that when we escalate measures levels of community infections and positivity rates go down when we escalated measures in july of 2020 the positivity rate fell from 13% in june to 4% in september and when we relaxed the measures in september of 2020 the positivity rate rose to its highest in november 2020 to a level of 19% na kuwa nyingi ya mikusanyiko ya wananchi imekuwa ikiendelezwa na wanasiasa rais ametangaza kupigwa marufuku kwa mikusanyiko hiyo We today in keeping with the recommendations of the National Emergency Response Committee on Coronavirus issue the first coronavirus public order of 2021 as follows Number 1 Cognizant that the propagation of the coronavirus within our borders has been fueled by political gatherings and large social gatherings today I direct that all forms of political gathering be and are hereby prohibited for a period of 30 days effective midnight on this 12th of March 2021 Rais pia ameagiza Wizara ya Afya kwa ushirikiano na ile ya uchukuzi kutathmini upya kanuni za usafiri. Watu usiozidi moja pekee ndio wataruhusiwa kuhudhuria mazishi na sherehe za harusi huku mazishi yakifanywa kwa chini ya muda wa masaa 72 punde kifo kinatokea. Crematoria ceremonies or crematoria ceremonies shall be limited to the immediate family of the deceased with a number capped at no more than 100 persons that at attendees of celebrations of weddings and other traditional unions and rites is hereby capped at 100 persons na licha ya kuwa Kenya imepoteza takriban shilingi bilioni 560 katika ukuaji wa uchumi tangu janga la corona kuripotiwa nchini serikali inaazimia kuhakikisha uchumi wa Kenya unakuwa kwa asilimia saba mwaka huu wa 2021 Wahudumu wa hoteli na maeneo ya burudani wameamrishwa kufunga biashara zao ifikapo saa tatu siku huku wale wanaotoa huduma muhimu kama vile hospitali na wajenzi wakiruhusiwa kuendeleza huduma hizo. Taratibu hizi rais anasema zitasaidia katika kunusuru maisha ya wakenya. The nationwide curfew is hereby extended for a further containment of 60 days and in that regard all bars and restaurants and other establishments open to the public must as is current close by 9 pm 